Okay, this is a 2013 Chevy Impala. And this window is a uh, little jacked. Let me just put it that way. Looks like it's completely disconnected from the regulator, probably because this door was hit. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the door panel and remove the window regulator. So it looks like there's two Torx head screws right here that you'll need to remove. You'll need to pop this cover off with a flat head and I believe that's it. So let's get to it. So this is a T30, two T30 screws. Got those out. Gonna take our flat head and pop this cover off here. There we go. Um, looks like we got a seven millimeter screw there. And then at that point, the door panel should pop off. Okay, the screw is removed and now we can take our flat head you can also, probably what would you would want to do is use a panel tool. Make it a little easier. I believe we're going to have to pop this cover off here. Unless it comes, might be part of the door panel. Okay, right there. So, two clips. And then we can uh, basically just... Oh, hold on. We have to take this cover off too right here put your flat head right there take the cover off we've got another t30 so this one's a little shorter so that way you don't get them mixed up with the other two now at this point we should be able to just lift the door off once you have the door panel lifted off you've got the cable for the door handle and basically what you want to do is slide that uh, this part slide it out then you can remove this little guy here and then take this plug off so what you want to do is get this plastic part out then you can release the cable all right once you get this disconnected you're just gonna peel this back you can see the regulator is busted there's gonna be one 10 millimeter here one 10 millimeter here that'll allow you to detach the glass from the regulator and then there's gonna be one uh, and two and three 10 millimeters right here right here right here so take those off so I've got the track disconnected but you also have to disconnect these three screws which are for the motor there's a little plug here that connects to the motor so you're gonna want to push this tab in and then pull the pin out here is the regulator it was rebuilt by danny danny auto glass if you're in phoenix that's my go-to spot 27th ave and broadway danny auto glass so it looks like what he did he drove this through to kind of pin the, the reel. And then down here. So he basically drilled off this, disconnected this, disconnected that, opened this up, wound everything back, and then reinstalled. And he tested it for me so we know it's good to go. So now we're just going to put it in the door. So there are one, two, three, four, five. 10 millimeter bolts actually there should be six uh so i believe we're missing one um here it is and these are a bit longer than these two short ones are the ones that actually go right here into the window so we're gonna put these in i've got the regulator installed uh well it's not installed but it's in the door so one bolt there two down here three for the motor and we're good to go Okay, we've got all the screws in. We just need to tighten them down. Don't forget to plug it back in. Cool, so everything's installed and bolted up. So we should be all good to go. And then we're gonna put this back. Oh, I don't usually add glue when I re uh, put this stuff back on there, but I do try to like press it so that it seals. If you wanna add a little glue, 
basically this is just the moisture seal to prevent moisture inside the door so um, if you live in somewhere with a very humid climate that might be something to consider um, I don't have that issue so I'm not gonna worry about it it should stay especially once you put the door panel back on sweet so the door panel is back on just need to tighten down these three screws and this one as well so I'm going to get the key and test the window to make sure it works. I do believe we're good to go.